Hey guys, Andrew from Model Flight here and welcome back for another RC update video. Had some brand new stock arrive this week um, and super excited about some of the releases. One of the brand new releases from eFly is the Apprentice STS. Now many of you may be familiar with the Apprentice or Mini Apprentice. Um, this is probably the most popular trainer um, and for good reason. It's super easy to fly a model, really good characteristics um, and one that's very forgiving. So eFlight have taken this uh, tried and true trainer and added um, some really great features to it and some extra capability and items uh, in the box. So this is the bind and fly version. Um, it does come in a ready to fly as well if you would like it in mode one and two. Um, one of the major changes is not only the technology on the aircraft but what you get in the box. So um, it's got the Spectrum Smart LiPo included in the box. This offers a little bit more, I guess, intelligence in the battery and the charging setup for the battery. Um, and to go with that is a USB charger. This is fantastic because this means you can charge virtually anywhere. If your car has a USB outlet, you can charge in your car so you can be down at the park flying. Charge this, charger is super easy to use, just plugs into the USB port, um, connect the battery up to the base of the charger. It'll auto detect the battery, put it on a charge rate and that's all you need to do. It has an LED up front to let you know when it's finished. Um, so super simple and some really good addition in technology there. With the aircraft itself, um, it does have a couple of key features that you can upgrade to. So the aircraft as it comes in the box is very similar to the previous Apprentice versions. Um, you do have the option to put on two new items. So one is the GPS um, assembly. So this is the same GPS assembly that's used in the Carbon Cub S Plus. Um, so tried and true, works really well. This adds in a few more features. So you can have things like auto landing where the aircraft will land itself. You can have virtual fence, which sets up a virtual perimeter in the air, which the aircraft can't fly out of. Um, and also a circling mode, essentially, which is a hold mode. So if you do get into trouble, need to collect yourself, need to adjust your glasses, need to just essentially take a break from the flight, you can hold a button, the aircraft will perform a, a constant radius circle. When you let go of the button, you have complete control. So some fantastic features there. Um, and a brand new feature is the uh, landing assist sensor. So this is a pretty cheap upgrade really and can be super helpful for beginners. Essentially what this does is it uh, monitors how close you are to the ground and before you land, it'll flare the model out for you. So what a flare is, is essentially bringing the nose up um, just before you hit the ground to sort of make the landing nice and smooth and not damage any of the parts in the aircraft. And the landing assist sensor is going to essentially do this for you um, to help you learn how to land. You can obviously turn that off as you get better. Um, but coupled uh, those things coupled with the existing uh, safe and AS3X modes on this aircraft, you have beginner mode, intermediate and advanced. Um, basically makes this comprehensively the best trainer you could possibly buy. Um, you spend some good money. This will teach you how to fly as safely and as easily as possible. Allow you to transition through uh, beginner all the way to advanced. This aircraft will do rolls, loops, stall turns, so it'll do aerobatics. Um, but yeah, take you from beginner um, to confident flyer. This is 100% the model for you. The Carbon Cub S Plus is a model that we've previously had in. We've actually done a video on our YouTube channel of this with some air to air footage, which is really cool. Um, and it is a fantastic flying model. Um, another great option is a trainer. So probably one of the main differences is this is a scale model and it's also a tail dragger. So it means that it has a tail at the back and two wheel, main wheels at the front. This does make it a little bit more difficult to take off and to land. So the Apprentice with its tricycle gear setup is a bit easier. Um, but this is still not too bad. It is made a little bit easier by the fact that it has big Tundra tires that are nice and soft so you can take off um, from rough land, uh, landing strips as well as smooth ones. Um, but that's probably the main difference between this and the Apprentice. It does have the GPS gear fitted. So again, you get your virtual fence, your holding pattern, and your auto landing system. So some really cool features. Um, and you can get it in a ready to fly and a buy and fly option. If you want to take advantage of the ready to fly, everything you need is included in the box, charger, battery, transmitter, literally need to just read through your manual, charge your battery up, um, and then go outside and enjoy flying. For the bind and fly option, if you do have a spectrum radio system already, um, you can get this aircraft, you will need to purchase battery and obviously provide the, um, the uh, transmitter and charger, um, bind it up and go flying as well. It is a really capable airframe too. If you jump on our, we put a link to the video, but if you jump on there, you'll have a look. It does really nice aerobatics, um, super versatile, can take off a multitude of runways and um, in very short spaces as well. So if you're in the market for a tail dragger scale trainer, the Carbon Cub S Plus could be the model for you. Another great option that's come back into stock for our heli fans is the Blade Nano S2. This is, a, I guess, a redesign on a very popular nano-style helicopter. As you can see, it's super small, 
perfect for this time of year when it's wet and windy outside and you can fly in your house um, without really risk of damaging your walls and your floors. Have a lot of fun with this helicopter. Um, it does come in two versions, a bind and fly and a ready to fly, um, and really makes a perfect trainer. Um, but if you already have a Spectrum radio system, you can get the bind and fly. The bind and fly does still come with the charger and battery. Uh, the charger is a real simple USB style charger, so any outlet, again, really convenient. You can kind of charge anywhere. Um, and the 150 milliamp batteries are super affordable to buy, sort of three or four of these. Be constantly flying, so have one on charge one in the aircraft and you can kind of have hours and hours of fun. Uh, one of the neat features of this model is it's safe and as reacts feature again. So the safe mode allows you to have beginner, intermediate and advanced. So you can start from uh, never flying a helicopter before and move all the way into um, advanced flying and full control. So it's a great model to let you do that. Um, one of the unique features in this is its altitude control. So in your beginner mode, the aircraft's gonna use onboard accelerometers to kind of determine how high it is and maintain that altitude. So when flying a helicopter, obviously there's a lot of things going on that can be pretty darty and move quickly. Um, modulating the throttle to maintain an altitude can be a bit difficult for beginners. Blade have kind of looked at that, offered a solution with the Nano S2 with the altitude control system. Um, so it's a fantastic helicopter to learn how to fly. I urge you if you are beginning into helis to give this one a look. Um, they are super light. so. If you do make a mistake, which does happen, and hit the ground, it's unlikely to break anything because there's not much mass and weight behind it. So um, yeah, a great option and just come back into stock. So these things will go fast. The UMX Radian has just come back into stock. Uh, this is a super popular model. Seems every time we get these in, they seem to sell out really fast. Um, and that's for good reason. It is a fantastic ultra micro version of the popular two meter size Radian. Um, this does come in a bind and fly. So if you have a Spectrum radio system, just a basic six channel or the DXE would be ideal. Um, you can fly this, this model. It's a very basic uh, three channel. Um, comes with, a, again, a USB charger, which is great, super convenient. And the aircraft flight battery is actually a 150 milliamp. So you can get a couple of these and um, if you're flying in uh, like a, off a nice slope in some light wind, you could be flying for a very long time on one battery. Um, but if you don't have a slope and you're flying off flat ground, again, fantastic model catch some thermals, really easy to fly. Um, also a great step into the gliders. So if you do wanna do some basic slope soaring, um, even some flying indoors, the UMX rating kinda does it all. So beautiful model, flies really, really well and fresh back into stock. Thanks for joining us again for another RC update. We've had some um, great items come back into stock this week, as well as a brand new release from eFlight of the Apprentice STS. Um, now, one thing that we didn't mention when going through it was the funds out promotion. We have mentioned this in the last video, but one of the items we have here today, the UMX Radian, does um, always covered by the funds out discount. So um, go to our website, check it out, use the code funds out when you're checking out to get your 15% uh, off the UMX Radian. So already a good aircraft, made a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable um, and sure to move very quickly. Um, if you'd like any more information on any of the items that we've covered, we'll put links in the description below. Um, and yeah, I'd urge you to go check out that funds out promotion. We do have a an area on the website which covers all of the items that are listed under that discount. Um, some really, really great specials and um, some cheap bargains to get. So I'll see you next week, guys. I'm Andrew from Model Flight.